Hey everyone, it's Lisa from the blog farmhouseonboon.com where I like to share food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. And today I want to show you something that a lot of you have requested and that is how to wrap a baby in a baby wrap. So ever since I had my fifth child, I have been doing almost all of my videos with a baby in this baby wrap, and that is because it is the only place that he is content. I don't think I've ever met a newborn that doesn't want to be held all the time. This is the Sally baby wrap. It is something that I actually just got for this baby. My last two kids, I had a Moby wrap, and they're both essentially a long piece of fabric. That's really all they are. There are some key differences between the two styles of wraps. Now, I loved my Moby wrap with my last two kids, and I thought there is absolutely no way on earth I could ever have a baby again without a baby wrap. I tried a different wrap this time, the Sally Baby, and I love it so much more. So let me explain why. When I have any baby, I wear this thing like a shirt. So I usually in the morning will put on a tank top, and then I'll put on my wrap, and then I'll put on in the winter something over it like a flannel, or a sweater or just something that can open up. The baby goes in and out of it all day long. So if he's awake, I get him out, I look at him, I play with him, and then as soon as he's fussy again, he goes right back in. So I don't bother to take this thing off. And so what I love so much about this wrap over the Moby is it is so lightweight that I hardly even notice it and it feels a lot like a shirt. I'd say probably the first week that I was wrapping Micah, I had to put on the Moby wrap because I wasn't used to this one. But now when this goes in the wash and I have to use my Moby, it's such a hassle because I'm so used to this one and I love it so much more. The key is wrapping it really, really tight. Because it's so lightweight, it can feel flimsy and like the baby will fall out unless you get used to wrapping it really, really tight. Now when they get a little bit older, I'll even put them in forward facing because they don't like to be facing you whenever they're trying to see the world and explore. You'll notice I have his head tucked like this. I try to switch it around, so you don't want your baby to get used to always leaving their head in one direction, but when I tuck it in like this, I find that they go to sleep better and stay asleep longer. So this time he might have his head facing this way, next time I might tuck him in on this side so that he doesn't get used to just putting his head one way, which wouldn't be good. So another key with baby wearing is to keep it safe, you want to make sure that you can always see their little noses and be aware of their breathing because you don't want them to get so smashed in against you that they obviously wouldn't be able to breathe. So I'm always keeping the head sideways and I'm aware of him and his breaths and I can hear him, and I can see him, he's close enough to kiss, which is kind of the standard rule for baby wearing. I have tried some of the carriers, like I had the baby Bjorn with my last child and they just do not compare to a wrap. Wraps are comfortable because they're, the weight is evenly dispersed on your shoulders. In the back, nothing is very pressing like a strap. It's spread out very evenly and comfortable to wear. Let's dive right in to the tutorial on how I tie this. The first step is going to be to find the middle. Now, most wraps, including the Sally Baby Wrap, have a tag right in the middle, and so that makes it easy to know where the middle is, of course. If the one you have, you're gonna make your own, doesn't, I would suggest putting something in the middle, maybe a little tag or a ribbon sewn in because you will find that it is a lot easier when you know exactly where that middle is. Otherwise, you're gonna have the strings, one hanging really long and then one hanging really short, and you don't want that. Find the two ends, and then just go down like this so I can find my middle. Now I wash this a lot, but it's still really dirty because I wear it so much. So you take the middle where this tag is and you put it right about here on your abdomen. Now I find that a lot of people do this a lot of different ways. It's just the way I do it. Then I take the right side, so you, my right, and I put it across my back. Now I like to keep it really open and straight and not wadded up because the weight is more evenly dispersed when I do that. So I got that one over my shoulder. Right side, left shoulder. Then I cross this over the front. See, so I just have it over one shoulder with this crossover. And then I bring this here with my left arm around my back, grabbing it with my right arm, and then over this shoulder. Then take this that's 
left here in the front and I just put it behind this middle piece. Pull it out the bottom. These two are over my shoulders and through the front here. Now I like to get mine really tight. You think, where's the baby gonna go? But they stretch it out and they go, they fit in. Now, you're gonna get used to how this feels. And the first couple of times, it probably won't feel right, but you need to push past that because once you get used to it, you're gonna absolutely love it. So if, they, if you feel really insecure the first time, they feel really loose and like they're not very tight, just keep trying because eventually once you get this right, you'll love it. It's a definitely a learning curve, but everybody I know who has stuck it out through the learning curve has become obsessed. So you take these that are down here now, through the front and you simply cross them over and put them around the back back forward and this is just where you tie it you're just basically tying it on okay now this is about the excess that I have at this point now when this comes out of the dryer I have a little bit less and then as it gets stretched out and I need to wash it again it's a little longer of course so this is on nice and tight. You can see how when he's not and I can go about my day, this doesn't feel like much. It's very lightweight and it just kind of feels like part of my shirt. This can sometimes get in the way. I'll just fling them back around my back and tie it. So I'll go in the mirror and I'll make sure that everything's nicely spread out so all the weight can be evenly dispersed. So now is the part where I'm gonna put in the baby. Keep in mind you have these two that are crossed over and then you have this one flat panel and that's all you need. And the baby's gonna be very supportive with that. All right, Hannah Banana. Let me unwrap this baby. Okay, now, this is kind of what I do for a newborn. Like I said, you can also put them forward when they're a little bit older. But you put them up on your chest like this. You take your left side first, that's just what I've always done, and you put it around their butt like this. And so this legs out and this is under their butt. Then you want to repeat with the other side. Whether you put their arms in or out is up to you. It depends to me if they're tired. So right now, if I know he's tired and fussy, I want him really good and in there, the arm's gonna stay in. Otherwise, maybe it'll come out like this. If they're older, they like to be more out like that. But I like to tuck newborns in really tight. So that's two levels of support. They're already pretty in there. But then you got this third, that flat panel, and you pull it up over them like this. And then, so now they're very in. I mean, they are so in. <laughs> this is the part where I like to just put their head in like this if they want to sleep. And I just start bouncing around and patting their butt and they're usually asleep in no time. Now, I did just wake him up from a nap, so he might not want to, but he even likes to be cozied up like this and awake sometimes. You can see on the back here, nothing is very tight or one, you know, strap that's all placing the weight in one area evenly dispersed it all feels very very nice another great thing about this lightweight wrap is it's great for the summer this still feels pretty hot i'll do something like this i'll take this flat panel and i'll put it under his butt like this and leave the legs out so their little bare legs could be out of it and then like i said you can also put out the arms so the baby is mostly out so that way they're not too hot and they're still really secure and nice in this way now I put them, when I put them forward facing, which I won't really do with Micah because he's too little, I do it the exact same way with this, them just flipped around. So I do the one side, the other side, then the front, and I don't put it over their legs because their knees are kind of facing out. I do it this way where their legs are hanging out. So this summer we'll be doing that quite a bit because Micah will be six, seven, and eight months this summer and he'll likely want to face out and it'll be warm and so that's when this will be really great for him. If you have questions, leave them in the comments below about this process. I hope I was able to explain it clearly. Obviously, you can rewatch that little demonstration several times till you're really confident on how to wrap your baby in the Sally Baby Wrap. Mine's already back asleep. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you're interested in more tips on baby type stuff, you can watch my minimalist baby essentials video where I talk about my love for wraps and other things baby. Please subscribe to my channel if you're new here for more food from scratch, natural living in a handmade home. Also, stop by the blog farmhouseonmoon.com for all of these things and to stay up to date with what's going on. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.